But we do need to move this stuff down a little bit, like about, what, five pixels. And then we do need to move it over so that it's out of our, out of the way of this. So we'll go ahead and do that next. And that we will do with the header layout. And, and we start that by looking at our row two settings and what we're going to do is we're going to give it 35 pixels of height but five pixels of top margin so we've just moved that stuff down five pixels let's see if that was enough that was enough although maybe this wants a tiny bit more and then we want to move this over, I would say about 300 pixels. Well, this is 350 right there. And so maybe 280 pixels. What we're going to do is we're going to give this some margin on this side and shove it over. And we'll do that with the nav menu. And the left side margin will say 280 pixels. Hit save. Refresh it. Okay, there we go. So the menu is moved over. And we can just push that down a little bit more. That is, we can push the search down a little bit more looking at the search form in the header and giving it a top margin of two pixels. That's probably all it takes to move the search down. Except that we want it to be all the way over here on the right hand side. So the way we can accomplish that well let's see first I guess we don't, I guess the search bar width is probably fine as it is. Probably don't need to change anything here on the search bar. So we're going to give it a right alignment and see if that moves it over. It does. So it moved it over, and if we don't want it quite against the edge, we could give it, say, 20 pixels of right margin. So if we look at our search form and we come down to left side margin, actually that's not going to work. So what we'll do here instead is give ourselves... We're going to customize the padding and margin for this widget column 2 of widget row 2 or header row 2. And then once we've done that, we get a whole bunch of choices here. And we're just going to say the right margin. We're going to give it a margin of 20 pixels, which should move that search bar over 20 pixels. No, it did not. What it made it do was disappear. Did I type it wrong? Okay, so I need to reduce this, the width of... I forgot to say that. Margin and width are cumulative. So now it made the column width 320 pixels. So when I made that... 20 pixels wide. I needed to make this 280 pixels wide. So I stuck with, I kept my 300 pixels. So we'll say save to that. And now it'll work. And you can continue to make that trade off between the absolute width of the space and the padding or the margin that's on this side. Mm -hmm.